Welcome to our newsline. You're watching Airy TV English News Broadcast live from our headquarters in Asmara. I'm Ham Berghat. Let's first look at the top stories that are making headlines today. Workshop to develop nutrition manual. Announcement from the Ministry of Health. Turkey to press Russia to restore calm and in Syria's Idlib. At least 24 killed in Akkadu prison gang riot. Multi-stakeholders consultation workshop for the development of roadmap for nutrition social behavior change, communication strategy, and manual organized by the Minister of Agriculture in cooperation with the Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN commenced today, 29 September at the Asmara Palace Hotel. In his keynote address, Mr. Arafayne Berhe, Minister of Agriculture, indicating that the workshop is the culmination of the several training packages that took nearly a year in a project named Improving Nutrition in Eritrea, Agrodiversity Nutrition Communities. The project addressed locally available foods with the high nutrition value and food demonstration for developing improved recipes and food diversity, the minister added. Mr. Arofina further said that ultimate objective is to improve the family and satisfy their food and nutrition requirements while improving their economic status. Ms. Amma Kabeh-Sande, UN, UN resident, coordinator in Eritrea on her part, said that the biggest challenge in enabling societies to adopt healthy and nutrition food are the lack of awareness and the existing social behavior that the workshop will have significant contribution in the addressing challenge. Mr. Ban Said, FAO representative in Eritrea, on his part, stated that the line with Sustainable Development Goals 2030 countries are working to end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. He also said that FAO's mission in the nutrition sector is to tackle malnutrition in all its forms by accelerating impactful policies and actions across agro-food systems to enable healthy diets for all. Twelve patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and this is carried out today at quarantine centers in the Central and Ansaba region. Out of the 11 patients are from quarantine centers in Asmara Central region, one patient is from quarantine center in Karen, Ansaba region. According to the total number of confirmed cases in the country to date, has risen to 6,709. The total number of recovered patients stands at 6,629, while the number of deaths stands at 42. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 29 September. The Central Region, in cooperation with the Department of Statistics and Cartographic System, organized training to 60 of its members, including 34 females, on basic information technology. Speaking at the concluding event of the training, Mr. Tedros Tekle, head of the Department of Statistics and Cartographic System, said that the objective of the training that in included computer technology, computer network security, and computer maintenance was to upgrade the capacity of the staff members and address minor problems that could occur due to system failure. The representatives of the trainees said that the training they received will have a significant contribution in facilitating their daily activities. Mr. Fisaya Haile, governor of the Central Region, on his part, called on the trainees to upgrade their knowledge practically on ground and played due part in the effort to provide timely and efficient administrative service. The National Union of Air Annuals and Students in the Southern Red Sea Region organized cultural and sports week as well as seminars in the port city of Asep. According to Mr. Osman Abdelkader, head of the Union branch in the region, the Cultural and Sports Week that started on 25 September, besides cultural and sports activities, included voluntary blood donation and popular campaigns. Mr. Osman also called, said that the Cultural and Sports Week will have a significant contribution in developing the overall understanding of the youth and extension experience among the youth and called on stakeholders to reinforce contribution. 
we're going to move on international news. Things still tuned. The president of Russia and Turkey held talks on curbing renewed violence in northwest Syria and possibly expanding Moscow's sales of military defense system to Ankara, Turkish officials said. Their ceasefire has prevented another major military escalation, but rebel fighters say Russia has stepped up air strikes around Idlib over the last week. Moscow says Russian forces are in Syria at the official invitation of President Bashar al-Assad and that the presence of the other forces is hindering his efforts to reunite and rebuild their water, the war-shattered country. Turkey has thousands of troops in northern Syria and supports insurgents opposed to Assad, who, with Moscow's support, has driven them back to a small pocket of territory on Turkish border. Ecuador officials said order restored in a prison after 24 killed for and 42 wounded in one of the deadliest riots. At least 24 prisoners, prisoners have been killed in a battle between inmates, inmates equipped with firearms and grenades at a prison. Television images showed inmates firing from the windows of the prison amid smoke and the detonation of firearms and explosives. Ecuador's prison system has about 60 facilities designed for 29,000 inmates, but it's burdened by overcrowding and staffing shortages. 27 inmates died in prison, rioters in two jails in July, in an accident that forced the government to declare a state of emergency. Before we close for today's news, let's have a recap of the headlines tonight. Workshop to develop nutrition manual. Announcement from the Minister of Health. Turkey to press Russia to restore calm and serious Idlib. At least 24 killed in Ecuador prison gang riot. That was all for all today. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.